morning, today is Wednesday, May 11th. I'm Sophia. And I'm Talia. Because today is day one of rotation. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. Thank you. You may now be seated. We will now hear from Mr. Luciani. See the background people standing on chairs, pretty funny. Um, what is up? Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I'm so glad to see you all here this morning. Um, it's Elder Wednesday, boys and girls. So I'm hearing about a few more legends joining the ranks out there. I'm super proud of you guys. Um, I'm developing the plans to celebrate you, to celebrate our, uh, our all of our other Panthers who have leveled up to blue or gold um, at our last clap out this year, and then for, to reveal the element winner. It is a tight tight race boys and girls so do what you got to do to earn those points because it is truly going to come down to the wire and i think it's kind of fun and exciting so i want to have two things to remind you of first for everybody um you guys have been so good throughout most of the year saying good morning saying hello using eye contact and responding to people when they talk to you and it sort of trailed off a little bit the past couple days or week or so look when someone says hello to you you say hello, but you look at them and you say hello. Why? Because that's how we treat people. That's just the right thing to do. This is out in the grocery store, out of Target, Walmart, anywhere, anywhere. That is just how we treat people. If you see people doing the opposite out there, being rude to each other, that's wrong. And that's the exact reason why we need to practice that, because that is how you treat each other. So if you have so many people, adults in this building, and each other, who care about you, who look out for you, or are trying to have fun with you, and they're saying good morning to you. So the, what you should do and what you need to do is look at them and respond and say hello or good morning. And if you know their name, say their name too. The other thing, so I had somebody come off the bus, um, you know, we're in SOL stuff, right? Fourth graders are rock, we're rocking it the past two days. Fifth grade's about to rock it today. And I had someone say, this test is going to be so hard. I don't want to do it. I said, are you crazy? Think about this, boys and girls. There are people flying to Mars, like right now, right? There are people that have flown to the moon. Um, we have electric cars that can go zero to 100 in like two seconds. Those things are hard, right? But they're still doing it. People are still taking hard and making it possible. This is, okay, it's a little hard, but it's nowhere near flying to the moon. It's nowhere near inventing an electric car. But people are still doing that. Anything is possible, boys and girls. Stop worrying about things being hard and embrace things that are being hard because that's how we get great things. That's how you discover who you are and how great you actually are. That's how we get people to the moon. That's how we have Teslas. That's how those things happen. Not by saying, oh, it's too hard. I don't want to do it. No, by saying it's hard. Let's figure it out. So keep that in mind. In fifth grade, I'll be visiting as soon as this element challenge is over. So let's swing on over here. We have some awesome third graders representing their elements for the element challenge. Boys and girls, it is a tight, tight race. Every point matters. Who's ready to do it for your element? Uh, I <laughs> well, let's hear who is doing it for their element. Representing fire? Hunter. Hunter. Representing air? Janelle. Janelle representing earth? And representing water? Lauren. All right. Boys and girls, this game is called Ball Drop. They have to stand on chairs, obviously, and drop ping pong balls into their cup. First person to drop two balls into their cup will win. They have to hold it up to their nose so they can't hold it down real low like that, okay? Are you guys ready to help me get some balls and get it back to them? Yeah. All right. First person to drop two wins. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, well, we have one already. We have two already. Oh, my goodness. Just like I think it was a split second before you got it. Two right in a row. Holy smokes. Well, I underestimated that challenge. I thought that would be a lot harder. Nice job, guys. Hey, that's five points for water right there. And they needed it. So, boys and girls, 
Go do what you got to do to earn some points today. If something is hard, say thank you because it's going to make me better. But let each other help you because together we are. Patty Strong.